And it's all about uh, healthy growth, and that means volume growth coupled with decent mix and a bit of pricing. And we're very focused on margin expansion to, you know, to, to, to refuel our brands and increase the, uh, the, the investment in, uh, in marketing behind our top brands. And that's what we've been seeing in the first six months of the, of the year. So we've seen a, a, a good volume growth. I mean, the, this quarter, the last quarter was uh, a bit better than the first quarter, and the first quarter was a bit better than the fourth quarter last year. So, you know, a sequential improvement uh, in that. But pricing was a, a bit subdued, and that was also the result of, uh, of the commodity basket uh, that saw a much lower inflation than uh, obviously we've seen over the last couple of years. And hey, when we see that, we're focused on competitiveness as well, and if we can give it back to the consumer, then that's what we do. I want to talk about volumes. Before we get there, is there reasons for investors to be concerned amid this lower than expected number in sales? Well, I mean, if you look at uh, the guidance for the, for the year, uh, we've uh, set our guidance to 3 to 5% uh, top line growth for the year. And once again, volume led. Uh, that was very important for us. And we stick to that guidance. So nothing in that sense has changed. Um, we have increased our, uh, our guidance on profit uh, since it is a bit better. Uh, and, and our gross margins have expanded uh, better than was anticipated. So uh, I would say that's a positive. So let's look at the volumes. They are up in the first half. My question to you really is whether this is sustainable. Is this likely to continue in the second half of this year? I mean, hey, volume growth, I mean, keeping uh, this pace of volume growth forever, uh, that will probably be, uh, be a challenge. But as I said, uh, we do expect for the full year our top line to be volume led and therefore volume to be the majority of our top line growth. Uh, we're seeing uh, from, you know, at this, at, from, at this point, we're seeing the trend on where we are today. We see that continue for the second half. When it comes to dividend, you're increasing the interim expectations for the second quarter. Why? Why are you so confident that you can do that? Well, we've increased the uh, dividend by 3% and uh, we're keen to, to stay uh, close to that sort of 60% payout ratio. Um, and hey, if we improve our profitability, then of course in the dividends uh, need to follow if you want to stick to that principle. And, and uh, we want to be very consistent in that regard. Um, that, that goes as well for our share buyback program that we have announced in the beginning of the year. Uh, the first part of that, uh, of that program has been executed by now. So consistency um, and predictability are very important words for us. However, in your statement, you're highlighting that you're expecting margins to increase less than in the second half than compared to what we saw in this first half. Why? What is the driving force behind that weaker performance? Yeah, if I look at the margin uh, development over the first half, uh, it was a combination of lower uh, inflation uh, in our core commodities. So that was important. We still had some rollover pricing from last year in that first half. So that gave us a, a bump in margins. Uh, and the other part of the margin expansion was because of net productivity, something that was so important in our growth action plan and that we talked about. And that means, you know, realizing a net cost out in your controllable cost. Now, that part will continue. Uh, I feel we are on track to realize that for the full year. But that, that, that benefit that we enjoyed from uh, lower inflation in our core commodities and some rollover pricing, uh, we see moderate inflation in the second half and we've seen very limited new pricing in the first half. So that is the reason why margin structure in the second half uh, will give less incremental value than in the first half. So is that what concerns you going forward for the rest of this year? Because when you think about commodity prices, prices have gone up for cocoa, milk and yeah. so on. So yeah. is that what at this stage concerns you the most for the outlook? Well, we have seen indeed uh, in pockets and you're, you're calling out uh, the ones that have seen the, the steepest inflation. Uh, and of course, you know, uh, when we have that in our mix, we do need to respond to it. Uh, at the same time, if I look at the, the, the commodities overall, we're not seeing a return to the levels of inflation that we've seen, for example, in 21 and 22. So it will be more moderate inflation, more normalized inflation, somewhere between two and a half and three percent. If I look globally, and obviously we're very, uh, very, we take a global look in the company, and you know, usually that's a level that uh, that we can work with.